Hey YouTube, uh, we're just checking out a little bit of a little bit of a question here from uh, Alfie Gillies. Um, I never dreamed that the uh, mechanic's trick to clean out an old rad would have been such a popular video. It's had like six thousand views or some shit like that. Anyways, Alfie's like asking me about the chemical solution or the the chemical formula for Drano. I mean, the first thing I'm going to tell you, Alfie, is I'm not a chemist. And any proprietary formula like this is usually a industry trade secret. But the requirement by law is that they have to have some safety information on here. And usually that is where you'll find a little bit of a, um, a tip because the safety information will contain uh, the name of the most dangerous chemical in the solution and tell you what to do, like induce vomiting, drink milk and water, or see a physician, whatever the hell it is. Anyways, so this is um, this is the addendum to uh, the mechanic's trick to clean out an old rad with uh, Drano powdered kitchen crystals, uh, the clog remover. And uh, to uh, to DM who says that I sound like Tommy Pickles' dad, I, I don't know if that's a compliment. Whatever, dude, the Rugrats are fucking hilarious. So I'll take it as a compliment. Um, anyway, so just a little bit on the safety label here. Um, they're saying, uh, during the use, never cover the drain. Now this is, of course, when you're using Drano in your kitchen, in, in your clogged sink. And it's saying, uh, you know, never cover the drain. Keep your hands and face away from the drain and, and children away from the sink area. Keep Drano and solutions of Drano away from the eyes, skin, and clothing. Keep water out of the can at all times to prevent contents from violently erupting or boiling out. Never use a mix, never use, sorry, never use or mix with other drain cleaners or chemicals before, during, or after using Drano, since Drano may still be present if the drain did not completely clear and, uh, and Drano may react with such products. Never use with a plunger or pressurized drain opener. Splashback of lye can occur. Even after use, Drano may still be present if the drain did not completely clear. Do not use in garbage disposers, dishwashers, toilet bowls, or in pipes directly connected with such devices. Keep off of all surfaces, fixtures, and utensils made all or in part of aluminum, wood, paint, acrylic, or fiberglass. So, <clears throat> just reading that gives us our biggest heads up. There's lye in here. And that is probably one of your largest uh, constituents in this proprietary industrial chemi chemical formula. It is also interesting to hear some of the recommendations because I am big on safety and I don't want to advise you guys, I don't want to offer you any tips that are going to be potentially dangerous. Probably one of the most dangerous tips that I have offered is cleaning a pulley belt while the engine is running. That's a pretty dangerous one and I, I made no bones about it when I did that video. And for one guy who commented that it was a stupid thing to do and I could get my fingers chewed up, you know, that's par for the course when you're doing mechanics. Your fingers could get fucked up while you're doing mechanics on any vehicle or machine at any time. There are safety precautions to take, and I was clearly uh, evident about the precautions when I gave that video. In this case, I was also, you know, pretty um, obvious about giving safety tips and about using PPE and protecting yourself. But more uh, interesting to me now is to see that all of the materials that this list um, highlights of not to use with this product are actually, you know, perfect because your your stock Azuzu Trooper radiator is is it's got stamped steel sides, it's got a copper body in the fins, and it has uh, uh, brass caps, and of course there's some solder in there. So all of those things are compatible with this product. I think that this tip still stands to be, you know, one of the better tips that I can offer you. And uh, I, I think that I can stand by everything that I've said and that this uh, is still a very effective uh, product for 
removing calcium and lime deposits in, in a radiator, any kind of mineral deposits. So um, if I get down to, I'm not going to worry about the directions for the use, but let's have a look at here. Um, so uh, storage and disposal, store out of the reach of children on a high shelf or in a locked uh, cabinet and in a cool dry place. Be sure that the can is empty and the cap is replaced before discarding. Do not rinse or incinerate. Wrap it and put it in the trash. This chemical will cause burns. It also creates dangerous fumes when mixed with other products. Do not mix with a toilet bowl cleaner or a rust remover. Household ammonia or acids. Of course, hey, don't swallow it. So it's not a beverage. Household ammonia or acids, do not swallow, do not get in eyes uh, or on skin or clothing, do not breathe the fumes, you know, so don't be loading up your vape pen with this shit, kids. And, uh, of course, keep it out of the uh, reach of children and use it only in well-ventilated areas. First aid treatment contains sodium hydroxide. If swallowed, call a poison control uh, center or a doctor immediately. Do not induce vomiting. If it's in your eyes, rinse with water for 20 minutes. If it's on your skin, rinse well with water. If on clothes, hey, get the fucking clothes off of your body before it burns through them and touches your skin. So there it is. It contains lye and sodium hydroxide. That's all I got for you, Mr. Gillies. And <clears throat> now I'm going to get to the really obvious part of this uh, video. I've offered you a really good tip. It's an old tip. It was given to me by a, a very solid, reputable mechanic who had a lot of years of experience. I'm telling you to go out and find this Drano, the powdered form, with the kitchen crystals. You've got the internet available to you. Hopefully you've got a MasterCard. You can get this can. You can find this in a hundred different sources, on the store shelves or through Amazon. Why do you want to know what's in it? I mean, take the necessary safety precautions. But don't, don't, don't think you're going to go and bypass the tip and find a cheaper way. This is a proprietary chemistry formula. There's a division of chemists who came up with this, and they've staked millions of dollars on a product. If you try to go and find some industrial equivalent of this, you could just land up fucking yourself up. So use the tip, use it wisely, take all the necessary precautions, clean out the radiator, if the first treatment doesn't clear your clogs or get your deposits uh, out of the way, then do a second treatment, maybe even a third. That's all I got for you today, fellas. And as far as replacing that uh, mechanical clutch-driven fan, well, here's my choice right here. This is a Flexalite cooling electric fan, and uh, this is a 16-inch model. Uh, if we go under the scale here, a 16-inch model provides uh, 2,215 CFMs. And uh, this is going to put a small draw on my electrical system and it's going to free up a whole bunch of horsepower from turning that clutch driven fan. If your bearing is seized on your clutch driven fan, you're going to be uh, robbing, the, it's robbing the engine of power all the time. And so um, if you want the uh, product number of this, uh, you can just check that out as soon as I can find it. Where the fuck's product number? Where the fuck's product number? Here we go. I bought this one at Lordco. Uh, it was about 170 bucks with my discount. Flexlite, part number 116. I hope that helps, fellas. Keep those troopers rolling, baby. I'm out of here. Alan Trooper says, go and enjoy a beautiful fucking day. Later.